Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorArt. So far in this tutorial, we have altered files from the view part of the MVVM pattern. On this page, you will learn how to link the button in the view for the main window to a command in the view model. This will cause user interactions with the view to have an effect in the application logic of the view model. When you are developing a Avalonia UI and the MVVM pattern, the solution template will give you a choice of MVVM toolkits. This tutorial is using the reactive UI framework and the solution template has already added in the package necessary. So uh, what is reactive command? The first step in linking the view and the view model is to make the view model able to accept a command. You will achieve this by adding .NET I command interface to the main window and then implementing it with the reactive UI reactive command. So let's start first by stopping this application, which is running. Locate and open our uh, main window view model.cs file. So which is here. Uh, if you do not find it, you can open the view model folder and under that you will find the main window view model.cs file. So delete the existing content of the class here. Let me remove this and let's start by adding the following code. So let's create a public class. Uh, public I command interface by music command. Let's open and close and let's I do not need the set attribute. Let's next line public in window. Let's use IntelliSense and inside this curly braces. I music command equal to Reactive command dot in. We are creating a reactive command checked links to. Close some curly braces and let's close this. So our code will be executed here when we click on the uh, button. So that code will go inside this uh, curly braces. So place a de debug point here. And next to complete the link from the view to your new by music command view model property, you will have to add a data binding to the button. So let's go back to the main window.xaml and let's find our button, which is over here. And in that button, let's add the command attribute. So here, let's say command. And let's bind it to I music lose a curly brace. Okay. Um, so let's build it once. Yeah. 
Okay, so the command attribute of the Avalonia UI button determines what happens when the button is clicked. In this case, the data binding expression links uh, to the buy music command property of the underlying view model. To confirm that this is what happening, let's click on this debug to compile and run this project. And uh, let's, yeah. So you will see that the app store executing at the breakpoint you previously set in the uh, view model. And when you run this, launch the UI. So on the next page uh, uh, tutorial, you will create a new dialogue window and then add some code to display it. So till then, Bye-bye.